Dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorated one of these services that we wouldn't normally see during the, uh, during the liturgical calendar. Um, it's the, the service for the 26 martyrs in Zograful Monastery, which is one of the monasteries on Mount Athos. And over the course of the history of the Orthodox Church, there's, there's been this desire for uh, centralized authority. This has been something that, is, that has happened over the course of, of, our, um, of our past, whether it's um, one bishop wanting to claim a title for themselves or another bishop wanting to be in control or in charge, or, um, and, and it can be in any one of a number of different terms and titles that is masking this particular desire for, uh, for, for centralization. And this is something that the martyrs of Zografu were um, gave their lives for. In their particular context, they had just had the Council of Lyon in the 1200s, and this was a council that was designed to um, to bring the West's military power to the East by the East um, subjecting themselves to the religious authority of the West. And this happened a couple of other times in history as well. And this was a union that was ultimately rejected. This is a union that was, um, that was rejected not because of lack of love, but because love doesn't mean anything if it's founded on a lie. And if for our understanding of who the church is and what the church is, that the church is the body of Christ, if we believe that, and if we hold to that, then the body of Christ has only one head, and this is Christ. And it cannot be any other way. There cannot be any, um, any delegation of this. We have a decentralized method of church governance in our faith. This is something that we've had since the earliest days when it, it virtually wasn't possible to centralize, and something that we've carried through all the way through to the present, and it's something that has done us very well. It feels like it can be very buggy because things don't change. That's its feature, that things don't just change. When, if, we're, if we're able to meet in council and we're able to have everyone agree on something and then take it back to the church and have the church agree, then we see the voice of the Holy Spirit that is, is, is amongst all of us. When we have, however, in the examples of the, the councils in Lyon and then later on in Ferrara, Florence, um, then what we had was a particular group with some power and authority already. They brought that back and the church rejected it. The church being its entire constituency, its entire constituency from top to bottom, if we're going to think along those lines. And so as we remember these martyrs, their brothers and sisters, we should remember what it was that they stood for and that, uh, that we too carry this same understanding of not only the body of Christ, but of Christ himself, who loves his church and still wants us to return to him in his church. May God bless each and every one of you, and I look forward to seeing you on the weekend.